Let's get it. Now, normally I don't do this, but let's take a moment and talk about McKelty, her channel, and some of the things that she revealed while she was talking about her family on her channel. Now, I will say this. I think that the kids deserve to have their voices heard. Their experiences are just as valuable as the experiences of the parents, uh, Cody, Christine, Mary, Janelle, Robin, and everybody else involved. Their experiences and what they bring to the table as far as things they observed, things they heard, things that they went through are just as valid and just as important as everybody else's. So when I said in the thumbnail that McKelty is declaring that she survived polygamy, Mary, and TLC. What I'm speaking of directly is the accusation that Mary McKelty had made earlier about Mary and how she was treated when she was a child. Now, before I get into it, I would simply ask that you guys give me a thumbs up if you appreciate or you like my content. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, I would ask that you subscribe to the channel. It's easy to do, just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and you will be notified when I upload new content just like this, as well as when I go live. It's not a big click to you, but it's a huge click to me. So go ahead, give me that HBO special, which stands for Help a Brother Out Special, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, now let's get it. Now, as I mentioned before, I do find, or at least I take umbrage with the idea that the voices of the children are being silenced by the network and by B the Brown family themselves. What am I referring to? McKelty had said before that, like I said in the uh, preview, that she was not treated well by Mary. It went on to say, uh, even with Christine and her uh, gender reveal, that Mary wasn't invited to the gender reveal. And everybody kind of played like, oh, I don't know what happened. I don't know why she wasn't in bed. I don't know why she wasn't there. But everybody understood why she wasn't there. Christine came out and said that her kids don't feel comfortable with Mary being present. So Mary wasn't in present. And most likely she won't be invited to any of those events in the future. If that's something that they went through and this TV show is to explore the idea of what happens in a polygamous family, more particularly what happens in a Brown's experience of polygamy, then that would be a relevant topic. Talking about how do you deal with issues from one of the mothers, quote unquote mothers, to the children? And how is that issue resolved? How is that issue dealt with? That's something that could have been talked about on the show but it would have damaged the whole idea that this was the perfect polygamous family and they were the ideal family altogether. Now, with that being said, I'll say this. First and foremost, this may be the reason why a lot of the kids, Logan, Hunter, and some of the other kids that we don't see on the show any longer, why they won't participate on the show. Because they don't want to participate in propagating a lie. And that's a possibility. I'm not saying that that's what it is, but I'm just merely presenting that as a possibility. Also, we have to take into account that even though these stories are popping up, even the story I uh, posted earlier about the ring incident where Cody had melted down Mary's <laughs> wedding ring. I'm sorry, I giggle when I say that, but it's so ridiculous and off the chart. Like that's like next level brutal. <laughs> for you to destroy a wedding band of a wife that you're supposedly still married to, like that is crazy. I've heard of people taking their rings off and throwing them at you. I've never heard nobody melting a bitch down. Like that's insane. But I digress. Even with that story, I understand that there are certain things that maybe the cast isn't comfortable with sharing. Maybe the stories that they don't want to talk about. But at the same time, I kind of look at the production uh, from TLC side because when TLC is encountered with these stories, I I would assume that uh, TLC knows about this stuff. And when they threaten McKelty with the possibility of shutting down the Sister Wives uh, series and not airing season 18 because of something that she said or something that she implied that she was mistreated by Mary when she was a child, I think that they're, like, for one, it has to be pretty bad the TLC was willing to, to slaughter this cash cow. 
It has to be something subst substantive, and it has to be something that's really bad. That you, if you guys keep talking about this, we can't air it anymore. Like TLC, I mean TLC, home of Milf Manor. TLC, TLC, basically shooting soft porn on Ninety Day Fiance. TLC. So if this is too hot for them to handle, they say it's too hot for TV for TLC. It must be something serious. That's my first presumption. Second presumption is that, and I could be wrong on all this, and, I, and I'm willing to admit that, but at the same time, these serious issues and circumstances were going on on the show, and they were dealing with the family as much as they would be dealing with the family, shooting this kind of program, then they've heard grumblings of how Mary has treated these kids. They probably have it on tape how Mary has treated these kids. And, and the interaction of the other parents and how they got along with the kids and the, and everybody and how they got along with each other. Like I said in my previous video, hot mics are abound on reality shows. You don't know, like you forget you have a microphone on half the time. You're walking around, going to the bathroom, talking, having conversations. You forget you have a mic on. And these guys can flip the switch and listen to everything that you're doing and everything that you have going on anytime they want. And I'm assuming they do that because they want to catch that hot mic moment because that could be the next vibe moment that propels this show so it's not unreasonable that they have a lot of material that they have never aired a lot of stories that they've never talked about and the idea that uh, uh, it's unsettling to a degree because the idea that a uh, studio or channel like TLC would rather protect the show than protect children is is bad is uh, I mean there's no I can't dress it up any more than <laughs> <laughs> then I'm just dead. Like it, it's it's not bad. It's it's freaking terrible. It's horrible. So because at that point you not you're not just a, a mild or passive observer. You actually become a conspirator. You might be a silent conspirator, but you're part of the problem. If you're standing there filming this mistreatment, or you're aware that this is going on, but you're like, hey, well, you know what? We don't want to destroy the popularity of the show, so we're gonna keep it going. And that's a lot, that's a heavy ass for kids. This actually puts me in mind of children who are child stars and the parents quit their jobs because, you know, like Macaulay Culkin and Home Alone or kids on Disney or uh, Nickelodeon or wherever. The parents quit their jobs and then all of a sudden the child becomes a breadwinner. And it's re the whole success of the family, the burden of the family, the ability to take care of the family now rests on the ch shoulders of children. And for these kids growing up, not only in polygamy, in, a, in a, the very difficult circumstance and relationship of that, but to also have to bear the silence of not just being a part of a polygamous family, but being part of a production on a polygamous propaganda program where you have to keep your secrets and keep the things that happen to you a secret because if you tell, not only might your family get broken up because of polygamy, but if you tell, your family could be financially ruined because you said something. That's actually one of the things that McKelty had faced earlier. Like I said, they were talking about canceling the show. Prior to that, we are aware that uh, Cody Brown had reached out to TLC to try to get... Uh, the, all the kids to sign NDAs and enforce an NDA where the kids couldn't talk bad about Cody or Robin. So the I so it's not uh, foreign, and it, and at the time it may have seemed like it was out of place, out of step that Cody was reaching and he got sh swatted down by TLC because they trying to keep it real. It it becomes more and more clear that Cody may have thought or encouraged to think that he could get his kids assigned an NDA because TLC through TLC and their attorneys because of the way TLC has conducted themselves previously. If TLC is keeping secrets and TLC is helping to uh, propagate them and push them forward as like the perfect family and a united front and everybody's healthy and this is just a normal family, you know, we just won't talk about their briefs. But if that's what TLC is doing, then of course Cody thinks that, hey, you guys are in it with me. So, so yeah, let's shut these kids up before they ruin it for us. <laughs> you know, so I just wanted to touch on that uh, to a degree. Like I said, I don't really want to dig too deep into the kids. Uh, they're entitled to their opinion. I know, I know McKelty is an adult. I'm not even 
They're like, oh, kids and no babies. No, I know she's an adult, but I just don't want to, because of what they probably potentially going through by being a part of their family, I don't want to drag people unless, you know, unless I particularly have to talk about her directly or unless uh, something comes up that demands that I kind of call them out. But this isn't one of those circumstances. In this particular case, uh, I feel bad for her. And I feel bad for the kids that this is something that they had to undergo. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is my take. I'm James. This has been my take on reality. And I'm out.